on a daily basis, remove the floss pan, whirl grip, and floss bubble. These are the only components that you can take to the sink to clean. With the machine unplugged, cool, and off, please use a damp rag to wipe off any excess sugar residue. The machine is not to be exposed to water at any time. This could void the warranty, damage the machine, and cause electrical shock. On a monthly basis, we perform some additional maintenance. We need to remove the band and clean it. First step is to make sure the machine is off, cool, and unplugged. Remove the four spinner cap screws in a crisscross manner. Lift this off, save for future use. Next step is to remove the plastic acorn nut. Sometimes after a machine has been in use, the acorn nut, the adjacent metal nut, and the jack screw will come out as one assembly. This is fine. Save these parts for reinstallation later. Remove the plastic terminal guard. At this point, note the location and orientation of the heat element. Please remove the two terminal screws. Please note, one wire goes to one copper strip, the other wire from the heat element goes to the other copper strip. Remove the band assembly as a unit. This will be installed later. At this point, remove any sugar buildup from the upper spinner head. No further disassembly is required. Now the band assembly can be washed off with warm water. Protect the wire leads. Do not allow the wire leads to get wet. Do not place the band assembly in a dishwasher. Do not submerge the band assembly. This will void the warranty, possibly cause electrical shock and permanent damage to the machine. Direct the stream of warm water into the turns of the heat element. This may need to be repeated several times to dislodge any sugar buildup. Constantly protect the wire leads. Keep the wire leads out of water. Do not let them become soaked. Dry it off immediately if they do become soaked. Shake the band assembly off and let sit overnight to air dry. There is a lip on the upper spinner head that will engage or seat the band assembly. This is incorrect. This is incorrect. This is correct. Please make sure that the band is seated properly on the upper spinner head. At this time, reconnect the wires to the heat element. Please note, only one wire to the heat element is connected to each copper strip. The machine will not function or operate if the wires are connected to the same copper strip. Please note, a quarter of an inch clearance between the heat element and the plastic screw standoffs. Install the plastic terminal guard. There's a top and a bottom side. The bottom side of this terminal guard has two recesses. Reinstall the jack screw and the metal serrated flange nut. Position the terminal guard such that the copper terminals are fully covered to prevent accidental contact with those during use. Reinstall the nylon acorn nut on top of the jack screw. This will prevent sugar from building up inside the Allen wrench socket. Reinstall the spinner cap. The spinner cap also has a lip on it that will engage the top of the band assembly. This part must snap in place and please note the fit. It should fit very nicely and concentrically. At this point, start tightening the screws. Do not use a pneumatic 
or an impact screwdriver to perform this. Perform this by hand in a crisscross manner. It may require you to crisscross three to four times and make sure that everything is evenly tightened. Over tightening may damage the spinner cap. We do not want to over tighten, but it also must be tight enough to keep everything together during operation. Check that your leather floaters are intact in good condition. Twist as described earlier. Make sure that the band is concentric with the cap and the upper spinner head. Also note the word top on the top of the band there. That must be located on the top portion of the band. If that's not correct, disassemble the spinner head and reassemble correctly. 